Welcome to the amazing number chart. This is a program I really want teachers to start using because I think it's one of the most useful on the entire site. It reinforces a wide range of counting skills like skip counting, filling in number grids, and a lot more. It's totally customizable. It says this game allows you to practice filling in your numbers in order or by types. So there are different options here. Let's go with play so you can see the basic functionality. Click play. Okay, we'll get back to this enter a play code. This is going to be a little bit of a longer video because there's a lot to go through here. So, I'm going to build a number grid for my students to fill in. So I'm going to, I'm going to leave the default settings. I'm going to start at number one. I'm going to end at 50. I can, choose, I can, I can make these any numbers I want up to 1,000. I'm going to go with, let's go with percentage. So... I'm going to make this 60%. That means 60% of this is going to be filled in, and 40% of this grid, students are going to have to fill in. You can, also, you can also program it with multiples, and you put the multiples in here, separate them by commas, and students will have to fill in certain multiples. If you put multiples of three, they have to fill in every three. Scoring is either ongoing or at the end. If you leave it ongoing, for every answer of student inputs, they get feedback. If you click at end, feedback will come when they're finished. Click play now. Okay, so you see all of these question marks here. Students have to fill in the number grid. So, we know this is two. Let's move on. Green means it's correct. Red means it's incorrect. So, six, seven, 9, 10. This program is great for kids as young as 5 or as old as 11. Let's go down here, 18. Now watch what happens if I do one incorrectly. I skip these two. Here's 12. What if I put 15 in here? I get a red square, so I have to go back and fix that. And you see the scoring down here happens automatically as I go. 22, 26, 27, 31, 36, 44. I got all the numbers correct. It says click on your progress report or main menu above to complete another grid. So if I went to view progress report, it shows me exactly how I did. 14 out of 14, 100%. Let's go back to the main menu. Let's go to new this time. Okay, so I am going to set my number grids options to create a new chart. It's going to give me a code in which I can give to students so they can complete the chart. Let's name this my grid. Let's start this time at 100 and end at 200. Let's do multiples of 4 and 7. Let's have scoring happen at the end. Now, one thing you can do that's really neat is you can get a you can fill up several grids, enter all the codes, and then students have to do one grid after another. But right now, let's save the grid. So sometimes this takes a couple minutes because it interacts with the server to get my code. So there it is. So I have this code. BFC683. So I copy this or write it down. I'm going to give this to my students so they can fill out the chart I just made. Click OK. Now, let's go back to the main menu so you can see how this works. Let's do play. This time I'm going to enter my code, which is already here. Play now. And here you see the grid that I just made for my students. So let's start. This time, this, this, the squares aren't going to turn green or red because I chose to do scoring at the end. These are all multiples of 4 and 7. So let's see how this works. I have to fill in a lot of numbers here. So 132. Let's get one incorrect just, just to see how it works. So I just made that one incorrect. I'm trying to do this really fast just so you can see how it works. And the 
to scroll down a little bit. This is really great for kids who need to learn how to skip count, who need to learn multiples of numbers, or just to learn number sense and a number grid. You can do as many as 200 in one screen. Remember, I saved this and I got a code that I would give to my students. My students would enter that code and they'd get this identical grid to do themselves. Okay. Now remember, I missed one. So I'm going to check my answers and it should say I got 35 out of 36. It says I got most of the numbers correct. Click on your progress report or main menu above. So let's look at my progress report. Scroll up a little bit here. And yes, my grid, I got 35 out of 36, 97 percent. This is how you this is how you do the amazing number charts. And I hope you get a lot of use out of this because I think this is one of the most useful applications on the entire site.